Welcome back to my Doctor's Ranked video. My opinion is my opinion, and your opinion is your opinion, and you're not wrong, and I'm not wrong, and I'm only basing this on the television adventures. Have we got all the disclaimers out the way? Good. So the Doctor in ninth place for me in my countdown of the Doctors from 13th to 1st, 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 is... The Seventh Doctor. This cheeky little scamp, I know all this, Ilvestia, right, mate? Full disclosure, I have now seen the entirety of the Seventh Doctor's first series. I hadn't until about uh, two years ago when I sat down with a friend of mine, Guy Lambert, to watch like all four of his uh, opening season adventures. And I had fun, but they're crap, aren't they? <laughs> Granted, I had fun with Paradise Towers, but I just that first series is, is not great. And you can see why people were turned off at that point. Uh, this clownish, weird oaf of a Doctor was just a little too much. It's in his second and third series that I really started to like the Seventh Doctor. We all know about the Cartmel Master Plan. We all know that he was sowing seeds of the Doctor being something even more important than simply just a madman in a box. He was going to be one of the original three Time Lords who started Time Lord Society. He was Merlin. He was all that stuff. And McCoy plays his second and third series like he knows that in the back of his head. All of a sudden, the facade, the fool, the joker on the outside, the little trickster man, is a front to distract his enemies and to put them off guard. And when you figured that out, my god, the Seventh Doctor is a lot of fun to watch. He's calculating, he's a chess master, he often plays his enemies like a fiddle, and they don't even realise it until it's too late. Most notably, of course, in remembrance of the Daleks, which coincidentally is probably my favourite Seventh Doctor story. Maybe tied with survival. I actually really like survival. Um, because it's just bleak. To see the Seventh Doctor and Ace, who are, who are a team who bounce off of each other so well and so full of positivity and adventure, being a story that, that's that kind of like heavy, um, albeit with the silly cat people, is is interesting to watch. It's nice to watch them have a tone and then have that tone put into a completely different context and it not be jarring enough to not work, but be, be contrasting enough to be interesting to watch, if that makes sense. Like, it's not, it's not like, you know, it's two different things. Oh, this doesn't work. It's like two different things have gone, oh, yeah, all right, let's go have a picnic together. An idea picnic. That's not a euphemism. Should be. Seventh Doctor and Mel are right in the first series, I suppose, but it's it's when he gets with Ace that you sort of go, oh my gosh, this is the TARDIS team I never knew I wanted, and they are perfect. Uh, great, great work from both Sophie Aldred and Sylvester McCoy. Uh, it's really sad to see his Doctor bow out in the TV movie in the way he does, but at the same time, it goes to show that every death of a, of a of not just the Doctor, but like every death of every any character, any person in real life, doesn't have to be this big, spectacular, grand finale. Sometimes it can be this weird random accident, this horrific, small, tragic moment that takes you out of the mortal pain. Um, and it, it's sort of extra sad because this Doctor is so lovely and bubbly on the surface most of the time that to see him lying there on the operating table and everything is just really upsetting. And I think that actually endears me to the Seventh Doctor even more, knowing how his story ends. Because I think, oh man, like all that bounding around, all the clowning, and who are you? And all that stuff results in him being killed on the operating table. It's just it's so sad and it just I think it makes me like him more. I really like the Seventh Doctor. Uh, I think Sylvester McCoy is a fun storyteller as well and he brings that talent to his portrayal of the Doctor. But what do you think? Where do you rank the Seventh Doctor in your favourite Doctors? What's your favourite Seventh Doctor adventure? And isn't Ace just the coolest thing about Doctor Who ever? It's a rhetorical question. The answer is always yes. Let me know down below and I'll see you tomorrow for another Doctor Who ranking video. Come on Ace, we've got work to do.